guys and welcome back to the Twist Network. Today in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this really cool effect that you can see on the screen right now. Um, so this effect, uh, I recently learned. I've been messing around with it, and I did this in three separate, uh, with three separate different stocks, and put together, I made quite a cool effect. Um, I was thinking I'll show you guys a tutorial of what the effect is, or what the command is for Photoshop, and uh, how cool it, and um, cool ways it can be used. So let's just jump straight in, create a new uh, canvas, 1900, not 19,000, by 1200, and resolution of 300 instead of 72. Uh, this is crucial for the API. A uh, crucial API, sorry. Um, you'll see later on, otherwise it gets sort of blurry a bit. <coughs> so it's going to set up our background, double click, open it, gradient overlay. I've got a preset gradient which I made ages ago. Uh, it's just a fading black to dark grey. Well, reverse the color, set it to radial, and scale it up. Now, a lot of people moan about these radial bands because they don't like them. Just tick the other, um, and they're gone. Bam. Pop your uncle. No tutorial needed for that. And um, so just create a new layer now. And on this layer, we're going to actually do our line. Uh, sorry, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to draw a line, um, like so. And I'm just going to make it red so you guys can see it. Um, with a color overlay. And I'm just going to rasterize the layer. Style. I'm just call it line. There you go. <clears throat> now we're gonna go view, new guide, and on the ver horizontal and vertical we're gonna type 50 and a percent at the end. And that gives you a snap bang in the center, 50 percent of your document. Um, so you don't have to drag it to snap it to position. It's just there, done. Uh, now we do view and lock guides so you can't move them and they get screwed up. So now our line. Um, we're just gonna control T. Free transform. I'm going to change the angle to 30 degrees. I think we'll do for that transformation. And then I'm just going to line this up at the center of the document, like so. Uh, so now we've done that, you're going to need a stock image. Um, so I found this one on Google. I'll give you a link for it if you want. Um, it's just a stock image. And uh, what I'm going to do is just delete that quickly. Jesus. Um, delete that. Uh, we're going to come to our lasso tool. And I'm going to lasso a selection of this document, so I quite like this bit here. Uh, neatness is not a priority. So now we do select, modify, and feather this by 50 pixels. And once you've done that, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and that automatically puts the selection to a new document, to a new layer, sorry. Um, not happen there. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. There you go. And we can delete the previous one. Now we've got this like, cool stock. Or selection of a stock, sorry. Um, we can just fit this. Like, so. And we're pretty much going to trim. Well, trim the stock to fit the uh, that the thirty degree section we need. I quite like this area here, so I'm just going to keep that in. So I think that will make a cool effect. So that should be trimmed slightly. Like so. Uh, so that works pretty cool. Right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control, Alt, and T. And then we're going to move the rotational point of the document, which should be in the center, to the actual center of the entire document. So it's going to rotate from the center, so going around the spiral. We're then going to come up to the angles here, and we're going to type um, a degree, and I reckon five degrees. Just hit enter twice. Now the magic happens. We hit, we hold Control, Alt, Shift, T, and it's basically remembering what you just did. So it remembers moving the rotational point, and it remembers uh, the angle of degree. So now every time you press T uh, while holding Control and Shift. Uh, it creates a new layer with a five degree slant on that layer. So we're just going to hit this quite a few times. Hope I'm not lagging out my PC. And you should see to start forming a very cool spiral effect. I can't remember where I started. That is pretty much where I started.
I'm just gonna make this last layer right now. Okay, so I'm just making it look like it's been topped underneath the layers. Okay, so now I'm just going to merge all these layers together. So, holding, go to the bottom, hold Control Shift, go back to the top, Control E to merge, and we'll call this Stock 1. Now, that is our stock, and you've got a really cool spiral effect going on here. Um, now we're going to add some other effects you can do. So this doesn't just work with stocks, this also works with lines. So if I show you here, so we're going to go to our elliptical marquee tool. Hold shift from the center point of your document and alt at the same time. And drag out. So I don't like this weird stuff on the right side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control shift alt and delete. Delete on this layer and you delete it from the stock. Alternatively you could go here and do um sorry I uh so ah oh, I keep pressing control Z sorry control shift I and then do a layer mask to crop outside of that layer and that works. Uh however I want some of this area in here so I'm just gonna control D that selection and drag back out and I want some of this selection but not all of it. So it looks like it's faded out and then do a layer mask to cut crop the rest like so. Now what we're going to do is on a new layer uh, like here we're going to go to the pen tool and from the center we're going to do some weird pen tool stuff uh, whatever you want so you can drag from here I'm trying to think of what I can do Um, now we're going to go to our brush tool and set this to around about 4 pixels, um, hardness of 0, and we're going to do stroke path, make sure brush selected, don't check simulate pressure, uh, and then delete that path, so we have this. Now we're going to do the same thing, control, uh, control T, move the rotation to the centre, not that, move the rotation to the centre, and we'll change the angle to 5 degrees, or 3 degrees for this one, and then we're just going to spam. Control or Shift T. And you begin to get a decent effect. Um, I don't know, like that. So drag that down to the centre uh, and merge them all. And we'll just call this line. Now you can either overlay this like with soft light or something, or what you can do is you can put this in, in as a layer. So we're gonna elliptical marquee tool. I don't like the center bit here, so I'm just gonna crop this out like so. Then I'm gonna go back to the center and I'm gonna go to around about hit and crop this out as well. And now we're going to take this and uh, control T, transform tool, and there we go. That has sort of merged onto our selection. And if you wanted to, you can add a gradient overlay and swatch on the document. Maybe a drop shadow, bring down the distance, bring down the size, sorry about that, no and bring down the opacity to 50%. You just go right off 90 degrees. No, no, 90, 90. And we have a sort of cool effect going on there. So now if we just untake this line, that's pretty much the effect completed. So yeah, the commands are Control Alt T, move the rotation point, change the angle, Control Alt Shift T to start um, re recopying that design if you want. Um, one last effect you can do is if you want to highlight all these, merge them come to the underlying layer 
and you can fade it into the background, drop the opacity in, and you've got sort of a cool stock for a background. Don't know, you can do whatever you want with this. So thanks for watching guys, um, on screen now will be some other tutorials, so you can check out one of them if you wish. Uh, yes, thanks for watching, goodbye.